I went to his inauguration um, because of the history between our two countries and also because his election was a source of reassurance to all of us who are interested in the democratic future of our region and of our continent. Because it appeared at one time as if the Senegal's reputation as a country committed to the principles of democratic accountability, respect for human rights, rule of law, was being jeopardized. But fortunately, good sense prevailed, elections were held, and out of the elections, Mr. Bashir Ufai emerged as the clear, convincing winner of the, of the elections. And the, as, and the manner in which he ascended to the presidency has brought peace and unity to his country. And that again, that Senegal is going to play a very important role in the development of the ECOWAS community has now been fully confirmed. We're lucky in having a, a, a new leader in Senegal in place, because I think he's also going to help us to try and resolve the big problem that we have in the ECOWAS community. And that is the purported departure of three of the key figures, key nations in ECOWAS, Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali. And uh, President Fai is very committed to seeing what he, together with the rest of us, can do to reach out and begin a, to revive the dialogue that would enable us to extend the hand of friendship and brotherhood to these three countries and find a way to bring them back within the ECOWAS community. It's a, an, it's a, a historically very important set of measures that we have, to, have to be taken to enable that to be to, to happen. So we're very happy to have you here, Mr. President, as I indicated to you. We, uh, and uh, I also told you what your election has done for all the young people in Ghana. It's made them all very ambitious. They all want to be president of this country now. So this is the example that you have set. It's a very good example, and we wish you the very best. That uh, this responsibilities that you have taken, you are in the line of great leaders that Senegal has had in the past, and now it's your turn to see what you can do. You're very welcome. Aquaba is what we say here in Ghana. Vous êtes très bienvenu. Merci. Merci. Nous avez honoré avec cette visite. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Nana Adodankwa Ekufu Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana. It is now time for His Excellency Basiru Diaka Fai, President of the Republic of Senegal, for his remarks. Mr. President. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur le Président. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I'd like to let you know how happy I am to meet you here in Ghana. As we said, uh, I mean, you were the first person to meet me. You came in an official capacity during my swearing in ceremony. But it's a solemn moment for the Senegalese people. And through me today, and only, only I'd like to thank you for being there for us at that time. I also want to thank you for the warm welcome I received in Ghana. Me and my delegation. Also adding that I'm here to reiterate our commitment, the commitment of my country and myself to continue in honoring our relationship between both countries, our relationships of fraternity and friendship between Senegal and Ghana. I commend the uh, commitment of Ghana, the democratic commitment of Ghana that is always used to democratic and peaceful transition without uh, petition. And this should be an example to other countries in the sub-region, in Africa and in the whole world. Relationships or the ties between Senegal and Ghana date back to years because in the past, you were a major empire 
that uh, covered a huge part of West Africa. But uh, recently, as I was saying, uh, this 1961, barely a year after our independence, we established an embassy in Ghana. Uh, following the footsteps of our founding fathers that believed in African unity. But today, if you ask every African to name Pan African leaders, of course you hear Kwame Nkrumah. So the heritage of Ghana, or the legacy of Ghana, it's in good hands. We know that we can count on your support to continue this tradition. For our bilateral relationships, Mr. President, Senegal and Ghana have a long-standing tradition of cooperation, especially in the diplomatic uh, area where we have agreement on sub-regional regional and international topics. I'd like to ensure that this diplomatic uh, unity can also be evident in our economic and commercial uh, uh, relationship because I believe we can do more. We can do way more on the trade and economic aspects, uh, even going further for our diplomatic ties because we share the same community uh, region or space. We share the same values of pan-Africanism, democracy, good governance, uh, human rights, and we should try our best to inspire other countries in the sub-region, on the continent and in the whole world, encouraging them to embrace this, uh, this way that only leads to salvation. On the trade side, there, there's a huge potential we can uh, draw on. But Mr. President, for starters, I'd like to plea for a joint commission to be established. I know that uh, our meetings have been difficult, but I believe we can share a whole lot. We can agree on many things once this commission is established. And I think this commission, based on specific points we identify, will discuss, for instance, on petroleum that we have been able to discover. There's a lot of uh, successes we can leverage on in the oil sector in defense on security. So we can bring together our resources to address the issues at hand, both on our side and yours, where you've noted some level of success. I'm really open-minded to this sharing of resources, and I'm also happy that you are working in the same direction. For multilateral co cooperation, Mr. President, I am convinced that you are aware of the heavy responsibilities relying on our shoulders to uh, hand ECOWAS in the same uh, state of strength we got it. Or oh, even we can do more. We can go ahead and strengthen the ECOWAS, improve its governance, and provide the means and resources to address issues that are affecting us. For security, I mean, we have threats that are affecting the existence of countries. For illegal uh, trafficking of humans, for drug trafficking, for cyber security, ECOWAS has a lot of challenges to address. And these challenges would only be addressed once the entity is strengthened, united, and better integrated. And I know you agree with me. That's why, Mr. President, I'd like to count on your wisdom or your Pan-African commitment so that together we try our best to pull our strength together, to share our ideas with our African brothers within the ECOWAS and those that are virtually on the exit, namely Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, so that we can find means and ways to draw them in. If we are able to dialogue, to discuss, we'll bring them back home 
so that we stop them from leaving because they need us and we also need them. They need ECOWAS and ECOWAS also needs them. If they end up leaving ECOWAS, ECOWAS becomes weak, but we need a stronger ECOWAS. That's why you always have my commitment. Commitment to work by your side, uh, depending on your wisdom and your Pan-African ideals on your legacy and the legacy of other African countries uh, towards this African integration so that we are able to really in these uh, African brothers who show them the importance to preserve this unity within ECOWAS and also safeguard the legacy of our, of our founding fathers. I thank you for your availability. I t also thank you for reassuring me that I'm on the right path and once again I'll be I'll be visiting as much as possible so that together and with other countries we can address issues that are relevant for our era. Thank you very much for the warm welcome. Thank you for your availability and thank you for being an inspiration to us and to the whole African country. Senegal President Fai Thank you very much. Excellencies, according to the media and the signal, there are no questions this time. Their only request is one more official handshake <laughs> before you move to the ceremonial room. While other members of the official delegation move to the banquet hall for a lunch in honor of President Fai.